Jim Kratzis calls it a bittersweet moment. She was the very first first lady I ever met. On Sunday, as people across the country mourn the death of Rosalind Carter, the Grand Haven retiree took time to remember her too. Items from the former first lady, like this signed copy of her biography, fill his office. Mrs. Carter was so nice, so sweet. But at the same time, she was so bright. Jim explains in 1985, he took a job in Atlanta as the curator for Jimmy Carter's presidential library and museum, which details the Georgia native's life and houses all of the documents and artifacts collected throughout his administration. It was a lot of work. Through the position, Jim met the former president in Roseland several times. We were at a Christmas party and they told us to bring the family, so I brought my daughter and uh, my wife then. And uh, Mrs. Carter made a beeline over to us and said, Jim, is this your daughter? I said, yes. And she said, oh, can I hold her? I said, of course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so my daughter didn't really care for her because she didn't know who it was, but that's okay. He says during the 1988 Democratic National Convention, the former first lady even asked him to design an exhibit on women's suffrage. She liked it quite a bit. Uh, in fact, she wanted to know all about it and everything else. Mrs. Carter was such an activist. Jim notes Rosalind, along with Lady Bird Johnson and Betty Ford, redefined the first lady role through their advocacy work. Mrs. Carter's biggest one was mental health issues. She was huge on that, and she was also very big on women's rights. I know her and Mrs. Ford, even though they opposed each other in the 76 campaign, they were both strongly for the ERA, uh, Equal Rights Amendment. He hopes so. people look back on her best moments these next few days. I think it's sad for the United States, but the great thing is she lived to be 96, and she has left a lasting imprint on this country.